morning students i hope everyone is safe and staying at home yeah in the previous class we discussed about the why the taste proteins are produced why the taste proteins are produced what type of taste proteins are produced so today we discuss about why the taste proteins are produced and what is the special system in our body what is the special system in our body to remove the taste proteins Present. 
So the actually, if you see, they are present. What are the present in the blood and the urine? Proteins are present. Creatinine is there, and calcium is present. Calcium is present, and phosphorus, and uric acid. So mostly, what are there in the urine? The substances present in the urea. All these substances are present in the blood. Then, which substances are present above the normal limits? Both in the blood and the urea. Just one should go through. Not simply I am telling here. Yeah. So here, when you observe here, creatinine, two point eight percent. The normal range is zero point six to one point five, but it is present two point eight. Creatinine. 2.8 and then what you see uric acid so the normal range of uric acid here is 3.25 but here 7.5 so it has to be eliminated it has to be removed there is creatinine also has to be excreted from the blood and the total cholesterol the total cholesterol the range is 150 to 200 it is 221 so it also it has to be Removed, removed from the blood, and you see this is about the this. These are the substances which are present more than the normal range. So when you see in the urine, so when you see in the urine, in the urine you can see that creatinine and calcium. Creatinine, calcium, they are and uric acid. Creatinine, calcium, and uric acid—they uh, have to be. They are present in the more than the normal range. What do you think? You are reading about normal limits indicates. So, what is normal limit? The normal range indicates. So, this normal range here it indicates that this normal range indicates that these substances should be present in this range only. If they exceed it may cause a harm to the body. If they present more than the required amounts, they may cause harm to the body. So you see the question: What are the materials needed to be removed from the body? Then what type of the materials they should be removed? So whatever materials they should be removed here: urea, creatinine, uric acid, and the cholesterol, calcium, and phosphorus, which are present more than the Normal range, they are have to be removed from the body. Then, from where do these materials remove? So, from where they are present in the blood and the urine. So, they have to be removed from the blood. Then, what are the organs that separate excretory materials? So, what are the special organs in our body? They will remove these these substances from the blood. So already you know that we discussed in the transportation. So kidneys, kidneys purifies the blood. So from the heart, the blood goes to the kidneys. So <coughs> renal uh, artery, renal artery carries the oxygenated blood. All these reach to the kidneys. In the kidneys, the blood will be filtered and the waste materials will be removed. So See, so many organs are there. Kidneys they will remove, lungs they will remove, skin also remove, and also large intestine. Different organs are there, but mostly the nitrogenous waste are removed by the kidneys. Why do you think the body must remove waste substances? Why this waste material should be removed from the body? So if these waste materials are not removed, so they are accumulated in the body. They may obstruct the normal functioning of the body. They may obstruct the normal functioning of the body. So you see, if you not do your work, what will happen? You may get the diseases. In the same way, the toxic substances, the waste, waste materials from the body, if they are not removed, so they will obstruct. They will, they, will, they will do the obstruction for the normal functioning of the body. So when the carbon dioxide concentration will be more in the body. Not removed, then the oxygen levels will be decreased. So, if the oxygen levels will be decreased, the cells will not function properly. When the cells will not function properly, you will get the disease. The same thing happens when the, the kidneys fail, they will 
not function properly. So like that so many other things are there. So the waste material should be removed time to time from the body. So that's why a special system is there in our body. Mostly to remove the nitrogenous waste. So in the next